With the Easy Hybrid, we were really focusing on a club that's gonna launch high and go a long way. So the first thing we did is we emphasized and really exaggerated the shockwave sole that we had on our previous generation. We pushed it further to the toe and heel, making the club more forgiving, so sort of higher ball speed on the toe and heel as well as low on the face, but also putting more weight low, helping encouraging high ball flight. With the dimensions of it, we made it a little bit longer from toe to heel and a little bit longer from front to back. Again, pushing those dimensions, making it easier to hit, higher MOI. And we also increased ball speed high on the face by focusing on the rebound crown, which is this smooth transition area, which similar to what the Shockwave sole does low on the face, this does high on the face to increase ball speed. The JPX Easy Hybrid is going to play more like a fairway wood than it is an iron. What I mean by that is the shape and everything is more fairway wood like and it's designed to be more of a sweeping shot and it's one that's going to launch the ball higher as opposed to kind of the more offset hybrids that you're seeing now that are more iron like that are going to launch the ball lower. They've been very kind of low heel, high toe and very offset. What offset typically does in a hybrid is it makes the club launch lower. With this, we wanted to make sure that the face of the club sits a little bit in front of the shaft, again, encouraging a higher launch. This is a club that speaks to a wide range of players. Luke Donald's playing it out on tour right now, but it is a JPX EZ, so it's easy enough for a high handicapper to hit. The great thing about this club is, I mean, it looks right at a dress. It's got a great shape to it, and it just instills confidence. You can tell the ball's gonna go high, and it's gonna go a long way.